welcome to the channel, Nature's Reality 360, where we bring you the reality of nature. Today is Thursday, October 19th, and we got some pandemonium to talk about, guys. That's right, pandemonium. Did you know that by the end of next year, there's not going to be one panda bear left in this country? As of now, there's only two zoos that even have pandas in America. That's the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. They have three that they have to give back by the end of this year. And then Zoo Atlanta. Next year, they have to give the four that they have back to China. Uh, and that's including two adults and their two children who technically aren't being given back to China. They were born here on American soil, but they will be given to China as well as part of the deal that they have. Apparently, this panda business, there's a lot more to it than you or I ever knew. So we're going to dig into that a little bit. I'm going to give you a little history so you have an understanding of what used to be called panda diplomacy, how that got turned into just like another lucrative rental business. Um, so uh, you got to understand pandas are exclusive to China. Okay, You can't get a panda anywhere else. And China knows that. They've known it for a long time, so they kind of use it to their benefit. The first time in recorded history was way back in the 7th century. They gave a panda to a uh, Japanese emperor. Um, and then, fast forward to 1936, they gave one to the West. It was the first panda that ever touched Western soil. It was in California in 1936, and it was a huge craze. They say everyone from Helen Keller to Al Capone visited these pandas. It was a huge thing. But then poachers started going to China. They started kind of, you know, hunting them and, and it became a problem. And, and it only lasted a decade. And in 1946, they put a stop to, uh, you know, the panda uh, poaching and all, and all that stuff. And then by the 1950s, there were no pandas left in America. The ones we had at the zoos here had passed away. And it was kind of like where we're at now where there's not going to be any more pandas in the country. Uh, but then what happened was China realized ah, we can use it uh, for diplomatic reasons. They started dabbling in that again. They gave a panda named Ping Ping uh, to the Soviet Union. But that panda, unfortunately, only survived the cold Moscow winter for four months. And then it passed away. But then things changed in 1972 when Richard Nixon, you may have heard about this, made his famous trip to China, okay? And when Richard Nixon came back from China, he had two pandas. I'm going to play this in the background, right? And this is First Lady Pat Nixon uh, welcoming the pandas to the zoo. And this was actually a national zoo in Washington, D.C. as well. Uh, so we'll let that play. So China, uh, were, they were using the pandas, you know, for diplomatic reasons and making friends with other countries. Uh, but that stopped in the 80s. They realized then well, we could probably make a lot of money off of these pandas. So they started doing what was deemed rent-a-panda, okay? Um, they would rent out these pandas. The first one was rented out uh, for the 1984 Olympics, uh, and they charged 100 grand a month for that panda. And as of now, the, the zoos in America are paying up to a million dollars a year for these pandas. And the way the contracts are set up even when the pandas have babies at a zoo in America, the zoo has to pay a $600,000 baby fee per cub. So it's a very expensive ordeal for these zoos. They, the zoo says it costs about a half a million dollars a year just to care for these pandas. Then they're paying a million dollars a year just to rent the pandas from China. And what happened was the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, they didn't really like that the rent a panda thing was happening. And they did put a stop to it in 1993, but that only lasted two short years. And then they worked out this deal where now the zoos, uh, they're, they're not allowed to accept any pandas from the wild. So not one panda from the, the wild since 1993. And any profits that they make off of the pandas, 80% of those profits have to go into uh, panda conservation. And that's turned out to be a great thing. They say ever since then, the population of pandas in the wild has risen to almost 1,600. And they say that's up 40% from the 1980s. So it's been a great effort. Uh, but the only problem is, for some reason now, these contracts are, are, are going to an end and they're not renewing them. 
uh, and I don't know exactly why. Uh, so if you look here, this one guy at the zoo said that basically China's ripping off America. Uh, they say the Chinese think we're rich and can do anything we want. They said other countries only pay a quarter of a million, which is still a lot of money, but a quarter of a million to a half a million a year, while America gets charged a million a year. So that could be part of it. But other people think it's because of the China-America relations at the moment, and maybe China's kind of doing it as like a penalty towards America. I'm not exactly sure, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, are you upset that there's not going to be any more pandas in America? Will we ever see a panda again in America? Uh, are you concerned or do you not even care? Um, did you know about this already or do you not even care? <laughs> Let us know down in the comments. Me, I, I don't like it because my thing is, you know, the zoos are a great thing. I love zoos and it's great to educate children on nature and animals. And it, and it's cool to see them in person, right? It's different than just looking on your screen, seeing a panda and actually seeing it in person. So I do appreciate having animals at the zoo. But my biggest concern is the conservation effort. 80% of those profits go into conservation. It's done a, a huge help to you know, reinvigorate the panda population. And, and I think that's a great thing. So I think it's very unfortunate that we're not going to be able to help the pandas as much as we were, if at all. So let me know what you think about that down in the comments. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoy it. Come back tomorrow for another video on Nature's Reality 360. And we'll catch you later. Woo!